welcome to mom and baby wellness and our today's topic is baby development in the womb week by week that is from week one all the way to week 40 we are going to see how the baby develops week by week we lie but we know we can't wait oh it doesn't grow give up let it go welcome back again my name is nastery started by the end of this week you should be able to understand what happens to your baby from week one all the way to week 40 so that you can take the appropriate measures or take care of yourself the way you should be i also highly encourage you to check the videos that i have you know, listed below this video as your watch next because they will like complement this video so let's get started uh, during week one all the way to week three you are not actually pregnant you should notice that pregnancy is calculated from the first day of your last menstrual period and not actually from the first day you conceived so week one and week two your body is preparing itself for pregnancy week week one week two it's ovulation week that is ovulation is taking place and week three uh, fertilization is taking place as well as you know uh, the egg is moving from the fallopian tubes where, where it has been fertilized and it's moving towards the uterus for implantation check out the video that i did about the imp major implantation symptoms that you should be checking out during week three during week three you're also likely to be to feel you know the very first pregnancy symptoms so we have that so during week four uh, the baby uh, the egg which is now called right now it's called the embryo has implanted on your uterus or in your uterus and right now it's about the size of a poppy seed and it's about 0 0.2 millimeters week five the baby is the size of a strawberry seed that is the embryo and the major organ systems of the body are beginning to form that is the heart and the brain week six the embryo is about half an inch and the nose ears jaw and the optical optic vesicles which usually forms the eyes are beginning to take shape so the baby right now has web like hands and the feet are also sprouting also the digestive as well as the respiratory systems are in their early stages of development week seven the baby is one inch long and development of the mouth the nostrils ears and the eyes are still in progress this week they are more defined that is the mouth and nostrils and the eyes they are more defined than the previous week and the baby's eyelids and the tongue have begun developing as well week eight your baby now has all the organs and the body parts of an adult but on a much smaller scales with this week the baby's bones will also begin to develop and the muscles can contract also the tiny elbows and the wrists can bend and the permanent eye color which is the eye pigment is also developing this week also the baby's gonads now can this week can now become either testes or ovaries so we can say that the baby's sex is being determined during this week eight week nine the baby now looks more human and the earlobes are present the tip of the nose is also visible and the eyelids are now fully formed the baby can bend and wiggle shoulders elbows and wrists as well as the knees and the ankles week 10 the baby is two inches long the head is half the body length baby's fingers and toes have sh have a shape now and the nails are starting to grow also the baby's palate which is the roof of the mouth will close during this week week 11 the baby is going through a major growth spurt and is about one and a half inches long the baby's ears are now migrating towards their proper position the baby's skin is still translucent but the bones continue to harden fingernails are still forming and uh, the diaphragm is also developing during this week week 12 the baby is three inches long and the kidneys and the bone marrow starts to function also the baby now has vocal cords and the face is continuing to take shape week 13 
18 the head is becoming more proportional right now it's about third of the size of its body and the baby is three and three quarter inches long and uh, the baby this week 13 develops fine hair that is called lanug week 14 the baby is over four inches long and um, inside the womb the baby is practicing how to frown squint and even breathe uh, by taking in and out the amniotic fluids and the genitals are now fully developed but you cannot still know like visualize them via an, an ultrasound what all the spleen and the liver have started doing their work week 15 the, the baby is four and three quarter inches long and this week they look more like a little person and the eyes are inching closer towards the nose the hairline and the eyebrows are developing also as well week 16 urinary and circulatory systems are starting to function they can now make urine and they cannot pump blood hold their head upright and their eyes are now in the correct position for 617 the baby begins to form adipose or the fat tissue and the function of that fat tissue is to store energy and uh, to protect organs and also to fill out the baby features that is to make them look more like a human or more like you also week 17 the baby can now hear voices week 18 the baby is practicing her napping skills and they wake they, uh, they wake up and sleep throughout the day the bones uh, the bones are now fully developed and the loud voices can actually startle a baby so 19 baby's legs and arms are now proportional proportionate to the rest of the body and the senses are also developing rapidly week 20 week 20 the baby is seven and three quarter inches long the skin continues to thicken and now has layers you know a normal skin has three layers so this is the week that the baby also gets gets her skin the three layers the baby's hair and nails are also steadily growing and now has taste buds and they're also practicing the swallowing skills week 21 the baby's eyelids uh, development is now complete the intestines and the bone marrow now continue to function and if it's a girl the vagina is also developing during this week by the end of this week the baby should be eight and a half inches long week 22 tear ducts starts to develop and uh, the baby can now feel a touch so you can actually you know start bonding with your baby by touching your baby week 23 the baby is steadily gaining weight by the end of this week the baby should be about 11 to 14 inches long and now this week um the the nipples will begin to form and also the face this week has almost taken the shape that it will be born with week 24 by the end of this week the baby should be on average be 12 and a half inches long and they will be putting on about six ounces of weight every week this week branches of the baby's lungs are also forming and the inner ear which controls balance is now fully developed which means that the baby can actually know when they are not when they are out of balance so that is when they are upside down they can actually tell week 25 the baby is about on average 13 inches long the baby is getting big and uh, gaining more fat and uh, during this week uh, the babies who are meant to be born with hair are starting to spot hair on their heads right now and you should expect more kicks and more movements during this week also nostrils begin to open and the may baby may be able to distinguish your voice from others week 26 the baby's organs and the systems are nearly complete if it's a boy the testicles begin to descend into his scrotum the skin is becoming more opaque and the eyelashes are sprouting and the baby can respond to sound week 27 the brain is now more active and hiccups may appear as the baby continues to practice swallowing and as the lungs continue to mature week 28 the baby baby's brain is growing steadily and the eyelids can now open and close 
and uh, the baby on average is about 14 and a quarter inches long 29 the baby's muscles lungs and the head are getting bigger and they can now regulate their own temperature week 30 the baby is more than 15 inches long and the lanugo which is the fine hair will start to fall out and during this week the uterus needs to expand more to accommodate the rapidly growing baby week 31 the skin is smoothening out more fat tissue is forming under the skin and the baby is more than 15 point five or 15 and a half inches long 32 lungs continue to develop toenails and fingernails are now fully formed as well as the eyelashes and the eyebrows hair on the head is also all grown and don't forget that it's also normal for babies to be born bald by the end of this week the baby should be on average be 16 inches long week 33 the baby is getting so big and should measure about 16 and a half inches long on average and the bones are now fully developed but they are still very soft and malleable so the baby's lungs and the central nervous systems are almost mature which means that the baby now have a very good chance of you know surviving if it's born during week 33 week 34 the baby is now 17 and a half inches long the baby is also about five and five and a half pounds in weight and is also gaining a lot of weight week 35 the lungs liver and the brain are still in their final stages of development and the baby is gaining about 8 to 12 ounces each week from now on with each ounce there is more fat that is developing beneath the baby's skin which is needed to keep the baby warm after birth by the end of this week the baby is 17 to 18 inches long week 36 the baby is gaining about an ounce each single day bringing the weight to about six and three quarter pounds thereby the length is about 17 and a half to 19 inches long and the baby is most likely in the head down position check this video that i did up here about you know the lightning which is also the uh, whereby the baby is in the head down position no check this video up here by the end of this week the lungs are also fully matured and the baby if born during this week can breathe on its own without any interventions week 37 this week the baby is brushing up on coordination practicing finger grasping and thumb sucking thumb sucking will help the baby to prepare for breastfeeding 38 the baby is now done with growing but may still be adding more weight by the end of this week because of the drop down into your pelvis the baby has more room to relax and you may also feel some relief you may be able to sleep well and uh, you know feed well as well week 39 your baby week 39 your baby is now considered full term and is now capable of functioning normally outside the womb the baby may be positioning him or herself properly for labor week 40 congratulations because you've made to the end and during this week labor may finally come uh, by the end of this week the baby measures about 19 to 21 inches long you should notice that not all babies are born on week 40 some on, some are born earlier week 39 38 others are born later week 41 and 42 when the baby is uh, when the labor has not started after week 42 that is a postpartum pregnancy check that video up here about the postpartum pregnancy and the dangers of you know going post -term. but we fell apart just in time you said at least it was worth the try